hey guys so welcome back i'm gonna do a new reading vlog and just tell you about my goals because apparently i can't do a professional video because i'm busy as hell and when i'm not busy i have no time to myself since i have cats um i'm never alone in this house <laughs> covid so starting today we are actually in a lockdown kind of thing everything's closed i was actually supposed to go watch a concert on the 27th i actually took vacation that full week and i'm bummed because it was offspring and simple plan and i know a simple plan it's just my childhood and i need to go and see it but anyways so that's probably going to be cancelled so i'll probably get my money back i have like four concerts this year so i'm going to watch money me a quebec well french um singer that i just love her music i actually have two of her cds and then avril lavigne is coming hopefully it's gonna stay put and then we're seeing imagine dragons very surprised they're coming to where i live very surprised anyways so with that i'm just gonna do a reading vlog um i'll probably update you tomorrow with my reading goals and my life goals this year so then you'll have like all in one vlog so starting today happy saturday uh we are saturday the 15th of january 2022 i'm actually playing some animal crossing right now we just got a snowstorm again like every weekend we're getting snowstorms i am currently uh trying to read this whenever i have time when i don't work i'm so lazy to the point that i'm literally all i want to do is sleep but then I clean because that keeps my heartbeat going up and like actually keeps me alive. <laughs> it, it, it keeps me moving, like it actually gives me energy. I'm always tired, but I updated my journals since I actually finished Kirby Volume 1. Um, I will not continue with that series. Um, honestly, it deserves a two star, but I, I it just, I love Kirby as a character, like games. So I gave it three, but it was, uh, let's just say I was very bored and there's no storyline and it's just literally Kirby being an asshole to the king that hates him, the bad enemy <laughs> in the games. And it was just very boring. Um, do I recommend it? No. Uh, is it cute? Yes. But there's just no storyline. So I'm actually watching um, The Witcher season two with my boyfriend. I've already watched it in December, so we're re-watching it. So it's making me really in the mood to read this. Uh, uh, I finally bought, I uh, had one credit left, so I used it for Robin Hobb. I'll put a picture here. Uh, Robin Hobb, the assassin, assassin, uh, whoa, Assa assassins? something the first book of the whole thing i really want to get into it and i'm just gonna pick up the audiobook i might actually buy a physical copy so i can follow along and highlight and you know fantasy has a lot of characters fantasy has a lot of new words that shows his brain does does not come com anyways talk to you later bye hey guys so i actually got a few things from aliexpress and i just wanted to show you these are more journaling stuff uh, a few pokemon stuff so i'm just gonna show you um oh my god there's some stuff i don't even remember ordering so wonderful oh right this is the thing i think that's all i have in here yes so i have this um this is a sticker set, I'm pretty sure. I just need to get my Sado knife. So I actually asked my boyfriend to go get these and um, from the mailbox since they arrived yesterday. And it's so full of snow. First time the mailbox was technically frozen. And then I went back and literally banged on the little door and it finally opened. So, and I'm freezing right now. So, okay. Oh my God, they're so cute. So these this is what they are they're like study draw why are they so adorable so my goodness i actually want to show you my collection of all these stickers that i own right now um but these are full 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 so i'll try to post like pictures of the whole thing oh my god i'm f look at that they're so adorable love it i'm very excited for this 
So that's one of them. And then I got some washi tapes here. Oh my God, they're adorable. I just love planners. Since I'm working on my mental health, I kind of plan on everything and planners, journals. I have like four that I do a day. And so these are what they are. So we have what, it's like a gate with trees, cherries, apples. Almost look like a church, but it's like a little house and stuff. Oh, it says love on the little hearts and just a few things here. They're not tick, but they're good enough. And then little dots. Um, so I'm excited for that one. And I actually want to show you me organ. Like I have, I am, okay. If you have ADHD, you think we have OCD and all the jazz. So my brain tend to like to organize stuff. So uh, I'll show you how organized my, my stuff. Um, I do reorganize everything like, almost every month just because I tend to be bored. You know, you can't move furniture, but at least I can move stuff from drawer to drawer. So it's always exciting. And I got these yellow ones, yellow and green. They're so cute. Look at the snowman. I'm going to use that one soon. And little flowers and bows. So that's the yellow pack. And then I bought this and I don't remember what it is. Oh my God, I saw the first one. And so this is our little stickers. So, oh, oh, I think there's two of each. Yeah. Just a little heart with saying about time. Cheeseburger. Sun. Like, I have a bunch, like a bunch. Oh, a little cat, a little tiger. So, and they're all like 99 cents. Like it's ridiculous how crazy you can get free stuff. Not free, but yeah, you can actually get free stuff. So I got also a stamp ink. I don't know if you can see, it's actually blue. So that's the ink. So I wanna try these. If I love them, I'll buy more. Okay, so these are all the cutest. So these are all, I don't even remember the name, the cat something that's on Facebook emoji and they have like a bunch of cat. <gasps> okay, you know I'm a cat person. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> I like this one. Certainly if you're watching Baba Fit right now, you would love it. Fifty Shades of Pusheen. Okay, this is adorable. I can't, I can't. This, this, I have a bunch of them. I'm excited for these. Okay, I think this is my switch case. Of, oh, it's so cute. It's Luna. Ah. Oh. Can't wait to put it on. It's adorable and you even have Joy-Cons. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. All right, and I have two more, I think. And I got a Christmas card from my mom too, so. Since the first time she forgot to put that I live in Canada. <laughs> She's not in Canada, so that's why they didn't get it to me. I got a patch of Pikachu. We got a patch and then I think that's all from that store. Yep. And I got one more. Oh no, these are the post-it notes. Transparent post-it notes. So then when I annotate books, it will be transparent. Look. And I can I write on it and then it won't like mess up the book. So I think that's all oh, exciting. Anyways. Back to regular programming. Good morning, guys. Uh, so happy Sunday. I am starting today with this cup of coffee. Cat and bag, you know, it's so relatable to me anyways. So this morning, 
I have one more. I have like 55 minutes before I start work. So I'm technically just decompressing. I just ate some good cereal. I washed my face, brushed my teeth. And yes, I'm here. I'm alive. Uh, yesterday was extremely busy. And pretty much in the night, uh, I was looking at the work email and it was just as busy. So it's going to be interesting. So I finally put the case on my switch. That's what it looked like. Not to everything. It's, 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 it's adorable still. Um, it's kind of hard to charge it now though, so I might have to just get a uh, a cord instead of the stand. Like the stand is right here. Um, but it's adorable. I I just love Sailor Moon. Like I'm, uh, love it. Anyways. Uh, since I've told you, I've been watching uh, The Witcher with my boyfriend. I've been watching The Witcher with my boyfriend, so um, I was supposed to read The Witcher, but I feel like I'm doing too much of The Witcher right now. So I'm just gonna put it aside and maybe, uh, we only have like two episodes left, so I'll probably pick it up in like a week or two. So yesterday I pretty much read a chapter of each book from Fairy Tale. I did not get to a chapter of this one, so that's what I'm doing this morning. So happiness, um, infinity, country. I actually felt really interesting for this one. And Vaspertine, and this one is the one that's holding me right now. I did not finish the full chapter, but it was like, very good. But I'm very excited about all of these, so I'm like, I want to read it all. So. I think I'm gonna stick to this one and maybe fairy tale because mangas are like one sitting read so and I want to read the first chapter of this one I just I was in bed not comfortable because I was too lazy to go get all my pillows so I can actually prop it on the wall and be comfortable and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna read chapter of this this morning and this and maybe read between calls if ever have a chance um it's pretty busy so i i, I know what i'm getting into but uh i'm done at three and i have no plans for tonight maybe clean a little bit i really need to clean but yeah uh there's a lot of snow outside i've never we've never had snow this much in like two days um the last winter has always been like really mild because where i live it's more like we're closer like where I grew up it's a lot more in the north of the province and now we're more in the south side so um, it's a lot more mild here usually like where I grew up one hour away would have been more of snow in here rain but now we're getting a lot of snow so yeah very very fun when um we don't want to like kind of pay for someone to plow our driveway um yeah so we're kind of doing it ahead i tried to do it yesterday and my back to is killing me and literally i did such a small space so i'm just not gonna go outside again <laughs> my boyfriend pretty much did the whole thing because <laughs> i was working and i just yeah can't do it but um besides that it's a fun winter we're only january 16. <laughs> So just just imagine the rest. So usually our snow stops uh, coming down end of April. So it's gonna be a long winter. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go drink my coffee, play a little of Animal Crossing before work, and then I'll try to update you uh, tonight or tomorrow as to where I'm at. And update for you. Don't get these. The uh, transparent. Um, honestly, it it smudges all the time. So it, these won't work on on books for library or books that are not mine. But I will still use them just to keep my place and stuff, and maybe writing on them, but keeping it not smudged. Like literally, this was completely written overnight, and I just put my finger on top, and it smudged. So not worth it. It was only like a dollar, so it's not the end of the world, but I'm not gonna use them for that. So, just a little update for you.
Okay guys, so I'm literally laying on bed. The cat is on top of me. Say hi. Anyways, um, was working since 9 a.m. And then um, just, you know, okay. I have ADHD and I forget stuff all the time or I do shit that I just shouldn't do. And at the point of it, I like a few like a year ago, I had to buy a pill organizer because I would forget to take my pills or overdose and stuff. And even with that, I managed to the last four days overdose on my anxiety medication. And I feel like my head is gonna blow up. I have nausea right now, migraine, and all of this side hurts like hell. And you can see it in my eyes, like my eyes are blown like anyways so it's a wonderful day so i was working supposed to work until five it's like 1 30 and i feel like vomiting so i think i'm just gonna lay down and go back to work later if i feel like it and then i have jazz here with me he loves me <laughs> yeah he does anyway so um, I, yesterday I actually watched, uh, I, I, not watched, sorry. Yesterday I actually started the manga, uh, Happiness. Um, it's so good. I would just wanted to do one try chapter and I ended up reading the whole thing in like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, and I did find all the, the actual series is all on the Kobo. Um, you know, like, um, when you have, uh, Amazon, uh, unlimited it's like a Kobo Unlimited kind of thing and they have the whole series there so I'm gonna read it on there because I've not tried the uh, one month free yet and it's only $9.99 after that so yes and then I just uh, subscribed to uh, Katie Colson's Patreon so I was actually just chatting with people on there so excited if you don't know who Katie Colson is go watch her videos she is the best and hilarious at what she does so one reason why i re <laughs> i just love it so much anyway so i'm gonna try to read maybe not read but like just relax a little bit before going back to where because whew, I, I yeah i took a Tylenol and didn't do shit so might have to take something stronger and i did call the pharmacist she said it's probably gonna stay like that for a few days so hopefully it goes away by like I'm off Thursday and Friday but we're in like a lockout I don't know the whole COVID shit anyway so hopefully by Saturday I'll feel better and then next week I'm on vacation so I have five or seven days off for vacation which is gonna be amazing and I can't wait because I really need it right now <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to go and continue cuddling my cat because um, he really needs it. He, he's a biter. He's uh, a kisser. He likes to bite my face sometimes and lick me. and It's, it's, it's the whole thing. Anyways, I'm going to go and relax and I will try to update you tonight or tomorrow. Bye.
Hey guys, so I'm gonna continue to update you on this vlog. Um, I did watch, I'll put the picture here, of um, Archive 81. I watched it in 24 hours. If you've watched it, please recommend me books about like kind of this type of movie or show or books. I just love anything with cults, demons, and mostly like hauntings because I like the backstory of why the person is technically haunting them. I just love it so much. Um, if I were to rate it on a 10 scale, it would be a, like 11 or 12. Like I really, really loved it for me to watch it in 24 hours. Every episode was like more dangerous to more dangerous to more awesome. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking my hands now. Anyways, uh, you know how I told you I was going to read this, this, this. Uh, I did finish Happiness Volume 1. I gave it four stars, I think, and Happiness Volume 2, three stars. It wasn't that... It's very interesting. It's very adult if ever you pick it up. I mean, like, it was very adult, okay? So if ever you're not adult, eh, watch for that. Anyways, yesterday, since I, I, you know, I wanted to read The Witcher, I wanted to read Vaspertine, I'm just not connected to those titles since watching Archive 81. I just want to pick up a good book. So I started this one. I'm reading first chapter of each of these next titles I'm going to show you and decide pretty much tonight like which one I want to keep. This one is The Luminous Dead. That was my bookmark. Anyways. Uh, this is Luminous Dead. Uh, this is by Caitlin Starling and I just, uh, it's actually interesting until now. It's just a girl that technically pretended that she knows how, like she's a scientist because she really wanted to make a lot of money, just wants to do one or two jobs and then she's done. She goes into a cave and technically she, like literally they don't poop, pee, eat or anything. Like there's actually a surgeon that took out like everything so then she can fit in her suit and every, the suit is technically processing everything and she's going to a cave alone no so this is very trillery very good i half of these i okay i did a stupid move i don't know if i told you this but i actually decided to throw away all of my dust jacket on many of my books so i have no clue what they're about so i have the graveyard apartment by mariko koiki and this one seems very interesting so that's technically an apartment building that was made on top of a graveyard and it's uh very haunted so i want to pick up this one so I'll put a picture here of the actual title. And then the next one is Pasadena, Sherry L. Smith. Um, this one, same thing, I'm really not sure. I'll put a little synopsis and uh, also uh, the cover of it. And I remember seeing the cover when I got it from Book Outlet and really was really interested in it. So yeah, it's a 10, 10 one. And then the next one after that is the second book of the Diary of a Hunting and Vareno Possession. Um, I have didn't vlog the other one, but this is the second one. I really love the first one. It was really good. Um, did not expect the ending, but it's a very slow um, young adult books. So yeah, so that's the one that I read and I have this one also. So I'll be able to pick it up. And then the last one on my list is The House. Uh, the House, Masterfully Told and Holy Original. Uh, so he says, he's always dressed in black. Um, his head down in shaggy black hair falls into his eyes, but when Gavin look up at Delilah, his dark eyes shadowed with bluish circles seems to flicker to life. Her lifelong fascination with him has been a mixture of longing and bear-like protectiveness. Because he lives in that house, the one of the edge of town, spooky and maybe haunted. Delilah think it might be something worse than haunted. Uh-huh. I'm just in a very, like, spooky mood. Like, I really had a lot of plans for this month and I didn't do them. So, I'm working until 2 a.m., uh, 3 to 2 in maybe like five minutes I have to go to work. I'm in front of my, the other side of my camera is actually my, my computer for work. Anyways, so I'm actually gonna go work and I'll try to update you later tonight on which one that I chose, but I'm gonna try to read like one chapter each. Usually that's what I do when I can't decide. A chapter, 
technically the first chapter of each book and then, then I decide which one triggered me like which one grabbed me the most and these books are all like old ones besides the luminous dead so anyways I'll talk to you later bye hey guys so I actually wanted to close out this video um no I did not choose a book yesterday so I guess you'll choose with me or sort of you'll find out next vlog so i'm gonna continue doing a reading vlog next week uh my hair is like extremely frizzy and kind of trying to curl let's just say i've done a lot of damage to my hair and now it's like see here like that's curled and this i need help <laughs> anyways um beside my hair going crazy I wanted to update you as to what my yearly goals are gonna be for this year I said I was gonna do it at the start of this vlog but I technically forgot to actually tell you what my reading goals are gonna be so I'm gonna pull up my actual journal and technically my re my personal goals is to meal prep more which i've been doing which is good like i actually cook a lot of veggies uh, on the sundays and then all week i have veggies to eat i just reheat it in the microwave and i want to look more into vitamins and minerals and what i need to eat to actually get my body to work better very very important and uh read more on mental health and just work on this brain in here so then i feel better happy and just have the best year um, also need to keep up with my teeth. Um, I actually need some, uh, let's just say, uh, dear, when I was younger, I was scared of the dentist and I actually forgot, no, I did not forget. I just didn't brush my teeth as much. I got a lot of cavities and I lost two teeth. So by losing two teeth, I need implants, which is technically drilling two, um, thingy in my bone of my jaw and then actually having fake teeth so i have to do that this year or early next year because all my teeth on the top are going down it's just not good for me but i'm working on it i'm spending i actually don't want to spend like at all this year like i really want to concentrate on um not more than one book a, a month <laughs> which is a lot right now because i kind of but there's month that i don't have books coming out so technically i can like you know work with that and also just really try to pay my bills uh, I've been paying my bills but I kind of like you know those get now pay later and credit cards I need to pay those like I'm still paying for them but then uh, money wise I need to save okay <laughs> no more pens and pencils and all those glittery things if I want them I'll get them on Aliexpress which is less and it takes longer I just need to no Amazon, like Amazon needs to go a little bit. <laughs> I wanna start doing yoga. Uh, yes, it's January 23rd and I still haven't touched or done anything. I all the only thing I've been doing right now is technically stretching myself every morning and every night. Cause before I couldn't, vitamin issue. All right, so that was my personal goals really. That's really what I wanna work on this year. But now we're gonna go in my reading goals. So. I did a lot of spreads for reading goals. So my reading goals are reading a hundred books this year. Uh, that includes audiobooks, ebooks, um, all kind of books, mangas, everything. So I really want to read that. I can usually read, like last year I did 83 books. So, you know, I feel like I can do it. I just need to beat this like reading slump that I'm in right now because I just can't decide what I want to read and it's mostly when it's close to the end of the year the end of the month i tend to like think oh well i won't be able to finish it from the first so i might as well just not read and then i'm wasting time which i could just bring all my january books into february like i don't need to stress over this it's ocd like honestly so that's really, I want to try reading bigger books also, 500 and plus. I want to read at least like a good 50% of the books, be that if possible. Um, even if they're audiobooks, at least they're longer books. That's one of my goals, 500 and plus. Um, also, I want to read more classics um, just because I have so many classics, like very a lot. So I need to work on that as well. 
uh, and post at least two videos a week with YouTube. Like I really love YouTube. I actually just bought my editing software again for another year. So like I have a lot of plans. Like I keep writing them and I keep being shy of doing a video in my own room. When my boyfriend's in the house, do I know why? I have no fucking clue. Don't know why, seriously. I'll show you. It's like very, very snowy outside, so. Yeah. Very snowy. I love it. So anyways, so as you can see here, like where my grandma that passed away this year and all that are classics. I need to get to them, honestly. And then um, also like, I have like my TBR card here. I need to attack those. Those are the books that I'm most excited for and I know I want to read. So you need to attack them. But anyways, besides that, today I'm actually trying to fix my computer. It's very slow when I tried editing videos at the point that like, I don't even want to touch it. But I know like I'm doing all my videos on my iPhone, which is 4K. So it's, it's, the, the, it's more for my computer to handle. But like, my computer is supposed to be able to handle it. Like, I, it's new, right? I'm not even done paying it, so. <sighs> yes. So I need to work on that. So I'm gonna try to um, still read a chapter of each book. I did read a chapter of Luminous Dead, and I did start reading uh, the Graveyard Apartment. So I still have The House Possession and Pasadena. So I'm gonna read one chapter of that today. Yesterday was like not busy at work. I just felt distracted and lost myself in YouTube as usual and talking to my coworkers. So um, usually it's always one day extremely busy, one day not, so we'll see. But I will update you next week with my, what I'm actually gonna pick up. Um, and also I'm starting Bunny technically in a week, but next week I'm on vacation. So you're gonna have my vacation vlog, which vacation in Canada means stay home. With COVID, stay home. Stay home. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for watching. You've been watching until now. I thank you and let me know down below what you read this week. Give me a recommendation of horror. I'm into a horror mood, so I would really like it. And um, no Stephen King, I just can't stand him. He just talks for nothing. But anyways, thank you for watching. And I will, Mia just tried it. Bye.